Uh, you know, it was uh, for sure the best, uh, the best year of my life as athlete because uh, I won many tournaments, I won uh, the world title that is the most important title of the year and I won it for the first time. I won uh, the European title and uh, many G1. Uh, I played, I don't know how many G1, but maybe 10, 11 and uh, I won many of it and uh, anyway I've never lost before the final. So, you know, uh, we played with a lot of continuity and it was really an unbelievable season. But at first, uh, I've been very lucky because I always played with a perfect partner is uh, in the perfect moment. So, thanks to my partner at first, to Matteo Marighella, to Carli, to Calbuce, to Font, that are the fourth players that I played with uh, during the year. In the last year, I really changed my way of training. I mean that uh, I started training uh, more, maybe two times more than the year before, because you know. Last year I played a bad season with, uh, with my friend Luca Calli. We didn't play very well, we didn't uh, reach the result that we wanted to reach. So at the end of the season I said to myself at first that I needed to train more if I wanted to improve my level in the game. Uh, training more means uh, training more with the racket, means training more at the gym, it means eating the right way, it means make more sacrifice and this is what I did. Uh, I tried to train in the right way and more than the years before. I think this was my secret, this was the reason why uh, this year I played better. I played better than the years before and improved uh, in a lot of part of the game where I was not so good. In my opinion the secret is always train a lot, train in the right way and make sacrifice. Because if you don't make sacrifice you cannot, uh, you cannot win. Uh, for sure the, the match point uh, in the World Championship. When I saw that the lob of Antonelli was going out uh, was really really unbelievable because uh, I never won the World Championship before and I know that is the most important title. So we arrived at the final and we had uh, all the pressure on us because um, a lot of people didn't think that uh, we could play against Antonelli Cramarossa but they deserved to arrive to the final for sure because they played an unbelievable tournament. Uh, we played with all the pressure on us and it's never easy. Uh, they played very well, uh, we played the first set, uh, the first set was really really tough, tough set. We didn't play at our best, but uh, trust me, playing that central court in Bagno Delfino when uh, you play for the title is really hard. It's hard to play at your best, but we won the first set at the tiebreak and uh, after that uh, we started to feel better and we won easily the, the second set, but it was really the best emotion of the year. Uh, yeah, we, I played uh, many, many finals with uh, Matteo Marighella during this year and we won uh, Three finals, European, Cagliari G1 and the World Championship. I wanted to win uh, one or two final more. Uh, maybe, let me think about it, we played a, a good final in Viareggio the week before uh, the World Championship against uh, Garavini Beccaccioli. We played very well, but not at the third set. At the, set, at the, the third set we felt very tired, uh, we didn't play well. And another time, uh, the final in Bibione. Uh, I really played uh, the worst the worst match of my season in Bibione. We lost very easy against uh, Medico in Cali, but I played very bad. But uh, you know, when um, sometimes when you lose, uh, it can uh, give you something of important for the future. I learned a lot from uh, that match, and uh, after that match, I started to play very well. But with Bistani School, it was a very good year too. We started in January, more or less, the foreign project. Uh, it means that uh, we tried it. We tried to export our brand, our methodology. Uh, everywhere in the world. Normally we did it just in Italy, but in general we started with a foreign project that, that you know at the beginning is more difficult. The goal of me and Tathari at the beginning of the season was uh, close one school uh, in one year, just at the beginning. And But uh, we closed three contracts, so it means that uh, we have three schools, three international schools now. The first one was in Japan and we are going to open in next year, probably in February, in uh, Martinique and Guadalupe. So it was really unbelievable. Uh, I think we made an amazing job. We are the first one that are trying to do something like that in this world. Sometimes we think that maybe for this sport can be too early for have so so many big projects. But I think that it can work. Obviously, you need patience, you need patience, and we have it for sure. So I hope that next year we will open new school too. The amazing thing, thing about Bistani School is the, the methodology that we use. Uh, we know that it works because you know the BTS project started in 2009 with Tathari and he was alone in Rome uh, and he had just two courses at the beginning, you know, in, uh, in a center in Rome. But uh, now we can say that we have more than 2,000 students, we have more than 20 schools all around the country. And the fact that we have always more students means that the methodology works and uh, the level of our players is always growing. 
so yes, the best thing that we can uh, that we can say that we have is the methodology. It really works. It works to, for the professional players. It works for the amateur, for the kids, for people that just play sometimes for fun. It works for everybody. So I think this is our real secret. I'm going to play with Luca Carli and uh, you know I decided to, to start again to play with him uh, for, for two reasons. Uh, at first I think that uh, if we play at our best uh, we can be the best team in this moment and second uh, um, Luca is my best friend too and uh, win with him for me is a special emotion. It is something of different. I have an amazing friendship with him that uh, helps us a lot in the court, in the court too. So I played uh, an amazing season with uh, Matteo Marighella. I'm very grateful to him because uh, with his experience uh, we could uh, reach very good results. So at first I have to say thanks to him because he's an amazing guy and an amazing player too. But I decided to change because, uh, because I wanted to, to start again my career with Luca. Uh, I wanted to do it and I'm very happy to see that uh, he was happy too to start again to, to play together. Uh, you know, we played the final against uh, Calbucci Garavini. Uh, Calbucci Garavini, in my opinion, they are still uh, probably the, the best team in the world. In the last two years they won everything for two years in a row. So really, they have been unbelievable and they are unbelievable together. Uh, we played uh, an amazing final. I think we played uh, an amazing beast tennis, all the four players. We won the third set, a very tough match. Uh, it was a big emotion because it was my first victory in Aruba. I've never won there and for the first time I won double and single two. So, you know, it was really, was really unbelievable. And win the tournament with uh, Luca was really awesome. But for sure Aruba, because Aruba is always Aruba. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best tournament in the world with uh, the World Championship in Mario Delfino. They are the two best tournaments in the world. So one uh, both uh, was really awesome. So yes, Aruba for sure, and then the European Championship because we played in Israel. Uh, again, we had all the pressure on us because we were the, the world champions. Uh, we played the final against Carly Meliconi. They played very well. Uh, we won at the third set, and that victory too was very important for me. The victory, the title is always a title. Uh, if it's ETF or not. Uh, it doesn't change so much. Uh, there was a very big price money that you know is always a big motivation. <laughs> so yes, was uh, was the same. You know, uh, I'm quite young, but I started to play many years ago. I started to play professional tournament when I was uh, 17. Now I'm 23, so it's already six, seven years. Uh, I think that uh, I will stop when I will feel that. Uh, I will not have more new, new motivation. When I will see that I don't have motivation, that I will not have motivation, that I will not have the same passion, uh, I will say stop. Uh, obviously, it depends from my body too, from my physique, how, how me, my career will be. But I think that uh, I can have for something like 10 years more of, uh, of beach tennis tournaments for sure. Yes! I, will, uh, I will rest a little bit the, the next month. I will spend uh, eight days more here in Thailand for just a vacation. And uh, then from, uh, from January I will start again to train with, uh, with my partner, with Carly, and to prepare uh, all the next season. So for sure we, I will continue to try to train at my best and uh, we will see what happens.